little coffee maker review tonight. Um, if you follow my channel, you'll know I like coffee and I also like the gadgets used to make it. Um, over the years I've used Chemex pour over system, Hario, um, both brilliant systems, really enjoy those. I've got a Hario um, plastic version of this in my desk drawer at work. Um, and I've also used the AeroPress over the years as well. So really like gadgets, really like coffee. And one of the products that I've always wanted to try out was the um, vacuum coffee making system, which is what you see here. Um, this is a unit made by Coffee Master and it's a five cup vacuum coffee maker. Um, what's put me off getting one of these before is the price. Um, the Hario unit uh, of equivalent size is about £100. And for something which I didn't think I'd be using daily, I thought that was a bit much. But having found this online um, for less than £30, um, I thought now was probably going to be a good time to try it. So we'll get into the box. We'll see how it all goes together, and then we'll make some coffee. Um, the principle behind this is that you fill the bottom portion up with um, cold water, or if you want to save time, already boiled water. Um, you've got a methylated spirits burner at the bottom, heats it up, water gets filled, uh, pushed up this little pipe here, up through a filter into the top section, where you put your coffee in, and then as you take the flame off, it gets sucked back down after it's been allowed to brew for five minutes or so, and away you go, and your coffee's kept down the bottom, and you take the top portion out and pour it out of the flask. So, a really cool little design. Um, I'm hoping this provides a coffee similar in quality to the pour-over systems, in that I think the, the bitter oils will be kept at the top. I don't really like um, cafetiere coffee. Um, that forces all the coffee to the bottom, and the bitter oils come to the top and you're pouring from the top and you get all the bitterness, a lot of sediment I find with cafetiere coffee as well. Um, and I'm hoping this system um, is a good way around that. I also think the system's really quite beautiful in terms of how it's, you know, how it works and could be like quite a good talking point um, if you had friends over. I don't think this is a system I'll use every day simply because it's a bit complicated, but Let's have a go, let's see how easy it is. We have some instructions, which we'll walk through in a minute. Just how the machine goes together. We've got coffee scoop. A wooden spatula. filter, along with a spring and chain. We'll show you that goes together in a minute. The coffee machine itself. And a little gas burner, a methylated spirits burner. As you can see, Assembly is pretty minimal. Straight out of the box, pretty much the main unit's been put together. All that really remains to do is take out this top section from its wooden bung, or rather rubber bung. You can rest it in there. And to place a little filter pad with its spring and chain connector into place. The little connector goes in the bottom there, that comes down here.
Okay, so first cup brewed, um, very easy to operate, and with pre-boiled water, the little methylated spirits burner boil up the temperature really, really quickly. I let it brew for probably three or four minutes, um, and then drew it back through, as you saw. Um, observation so far in use, um, it is a five cup unit. I'm a coffee drinker by the mug, and this is typical for all systems, Chemex especially, um, cups to mugs don't quite always add up. So I'd say this was a good two mug system. Um, and because of that, using a, a standard scoop, which I'm familiar with, I measured out what I would have used for, for two mugs of coffee in any other system, which is basically two uh, 12 gram scoops, I think it is, but basically two Hario scoops, pretty much the same size as AeroPress scoops. So I used that as a consistent sort of measure. Um, as I say, two good mugs full here. Um, really pleasant system to use. Um, I'll give this a wash later on. I don't think it'll be too hard to wash. It's basically a very simple uh, cloth cover over a sort of metal perforated disc. I don't think that's going to be a problem to uh, clean. And as I was using it, I was thinking, well, this would probably be quite good with loose leaf tea. Um, over an evening, I really like to have a chamomile tea, as does my wife. Um, I think I might try doing some sort of herbal tea mixes in this, maybe some uh, English breakfast tea, uh, loose leaf. I think this can probably do much more than coffee alone. So, let's have the first taste. Okay, so this is a fairly standard um, medium strength coffee, just from the supermarket, nothing special, pre-ground, um, the sort of thing that I drink every day. Um, it tastes good, it's a strong cup of coffee. Um, it's maybe slightly more earthy than I'd say it was came through on a Chemex. You know, the filter on Chemex probably takes out a lot of the, uh, a lot of the sediment, it's a very fine filter. This is obviously a canvas uh, filter, so it's got a little bit more earthy taste to it. But as I suspected and hoped, um, a lot of the bitter notes have been left behind as the oils sit above the, uh, the granules left behind. So they're trapped up here. Uh, as I said, cafetiers, they float to the top and you get that over everything else. Cafetiers really don't like them. Um, much better than instant coffee, but in terms of any fresh coffee, I'd say cafetiere was well down the bottom. So this is a good cup of coffee. Um, maybe not as clean a taste as you would get with Chemex, but a good cup and a really nice system to use, actually. Um, initially, I thought this might be something which you could break easily, but it's not fragile. I, I've not felt that it was uh, fragile in use. And uh, for less than £30, it's a really nice little object to have round really. Um, so that's about it. That's Coffee Master 5 Cup Vacuum Maker. I'll put a link below to where I got it from. As I say, £30 is probably the best price I've seen for a vacuum system of any sort. And this one is good, very good. Um, okay, well that's about it. Um, if you haven't seen my channel before, please check it out. Um, I am into coffee uh, and coffee gadgets, um, but in, on top of that, my other hobbies and interests, quality footwear, denim, um, back into cycling, bought a Brompton, so there's a few videos coming up on that. Um, play the guitar a bit. Basically, I like to share my interests through YouTube um, and just put it out there, really. If it interests me, it will come on my channel at some time or another. Um, so, if you like that video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd love it if you subscribed. And uh, I hope that's useful. Okay, see you for the next video. Bye-bye.